Okay. We're pleased to have Stephen Alker with us. Stephen uh, has won four times on PGA Tour Champions within the last year. And of course, won his first senior major, the senior PGA Championship recently. Um, I guess to start off, how's it feel to be at a U.S. Senior Open? Because you've played in two U.S. Opens. I have, correct. Uh, yeah, pretty neat. I was out in the golf course today and it, uh, it felt like a U.S. Open. <laughs> Just the way it's set up and uh, it's not our normal setup uh, on the Champions Tour. So, yeah, it feels neat. The atmosphere was great. There's plenty of people out there and... Um, it's uh, it's good to be here. Yeah, give us uh, a couple of your first impressions of Saucon Valley Country Club and what kind of a course is what you saw yeah. first couple of times uh, around. Very uh, very old school, which which I like. Um, just um, just the rolling fairways and the greens, um, and, and even coming in the clubhouse, you know, just the trees and just the setting. It was uh, it was great. So I'm looking forward to the week. Um, kind of up my alley a little bit you know if just there's going to have to be lots of fairways and lots of greens this week and um and have a good short game so i'm looking forward to it great let's open up for questions and jim you want to go ahead steve we used to we're a journeyman quite often and right, i'm just wondering right. do you fit that label and if so what exactly does that mean yeah i think so um i guess when you talk talk journeyman you've uh you've kind of been everywhere and and done everything and um I kind of feel like I've done that. Uh, a lot of places I've been, I haven't uh, done it well, but uh, some places I have. So it's just been a lot of places, a lot of experiences. Um, you know, starting out down on the islands tours down in, in New Zealand, Australia, Fiji, and places like that, and then ending up here. You know, just and, and through that journey, Corn Ferry tour, European tour, Canadian tour, um, Asian tour. Um, European to uh, everywhere, so um, yeah, I guess you can call myself a journeyman. Yeah. Is there so. anywhere in the world you haven't played? Um, I don't think so. Um, maybe the Middle East. That's about the only place. <laughs> so, can you kind of give perspective on what this last year has been like for you, particularly these last few months with the way yeah. you've just kind of dominated? Yeah. Um, you know, it's. Um, it's gone so quickly, it kind of really hasn't sunk in. I, I had just had two weeks off, so it was kind of like a breathe and kind of take it in a little bit. But um, I'm just um, I'm just kind of going to the next event, like it's bomb done. Let's go. What's next? You know what I mean? And um, I guess where I'm at and what I'm doing right now, I've only got so many years left in my career, so it's kind of like okay, let's. That's done, great, fantastic, what's next, you know? And that's kind of how I'm treating it. And, uh, but has it sunk in? Um, yeah, a little bit, here and there. You know, I, I think the major was the big one. Like, obviously I won three times. Wow, that was great, fantastic. It was quick and then to get the PGA was, was pretty neat, yeah. Was there a plan physically and mentally the last few years of your 40s that you had geared toward 50? Uh, there, there was, yep, that 48 to 50 period. Uh, just keep playing. You know, uh, I was on the Corn Ferry Tour and just kept playing. That was the, the main thing. Uh, I'm working hard on the body just the last, you know, 18 months just to get in shape, golf shape. Um, and, yeah, I mean, I, I think just wanting to come out here and play and be amongst these guys and have a second chance and be amongst, that was the biggest thing for me, just to um, really wanting to come out here and play. Yeah. I mean, you've had some ups and downs, a lot of tours. 2010, was there any thought with the way that year went that you thought about something else? 2010? No, I don't. I don't recall 2000. I don't remember it. 21, <laughs> I think it was 21 <laughs> events. God. No, I can't. I can't. I don't remember. It. No. Uh, yeah, it's just, um, well, it, it's, it's just a different time in my life. You know, young family. You know, kids right. are only young, you know, five and six and just, you know, um, trying to get back on the PGA Tour. Um, just a lot of things going on, you know, so um, just a different place in my life right now. And um, all I can say is that all those, the, the, what happened back in those years, just bringing it forward and, and um, you know, appreciate what I got now and kind of just learning from, from what happened, you know. Um, unfortunately, I don't have to make cuts on the Champions Tour now, so that's probably a good thing. But uh, yeah, it's just all experience, you know, so. Thank you.
what drives you to keep going through all the different things that have happened to you over the years? Yeah. There had to be something there that said, I'm not going to give this up. Yeah. Um, for me, yeah, I guess I've just got a lot of perseverance, um, support my family. You know, my wife's been amazing and, you know, my kids support me and my family. So just uh, having them to just, you know, there are times it's like, you know, your shit, your game's crap, uh, you know, look at doing something else. But I don't, I didn't really want to do that. I might have done something else as well as golf, but I never really thought about just giving it away. So um, I guess just my, you know, my passion for the game and just perseverance has kind of just kept me going. Yeah. If you had had to have given it up, what might have you done for a work? Yeah, I, I don't know, to be honest. Maybe just stay in the golf business. You know, might have moved back to New Zealand. I mean, my wife is English. Could have done something back there, but never really seriously thought about, okay, mm -hmm. um, now's the time to, look, you know, maybe do something else. But, um, yeah, probably just stay in the golf business. Yep. Yep. Patrick Harrington mentioned that you and he have played some rounds together in Europe, what do you think his ceiling is out here? Sorry, what? What do you think his ceiling is out here playing? His ceiling? At, yeah, how, um, how much could he win? Yeah, uh, sky, sky's the limit. You know, look at someone like me, you know, just coming back out and, and wanting to, to play and, um, and doing as well as I, I am. Um, you know, again, if he stays fit and, and stays strong, he hits it long, as long as anybody out there. Um, yeah, sky's the limit. I mean, um, he, he's kind of, it looks like he's kind of in between here and playing some Europe and still PGA. So he's got all that going on, you know. Um, and yeah, he's had some good finishes, which it was great. He's still got some game, for sure. So, yeah, I, I, my focus is here, and his is kind of just not here fully right now. So I think when he decides to do that, I think he'll do very, very well, yeah, for sure. I'm just curious, have you, have you ever, um, who, when you first started being playing pro golf, did you have a really good friend that he kind of, okay, I, I'm packing it in early in my career? Was there ever a friend of yours that yeah. you, know, you think maybe gave it up to Yeah, uh, quite a few guys, to be honest. Yeah, guys that I kind of traveled with when I started playing Australasia and, and the Islands tours. Um, yeah, a bunch of guys just decided no this is not for me they they did their two or three years and they're like no I'm, I'm not up for it and, and they probably did have the game but decided not to and you know did some coaching um you no know, i'm not going to point anyone out in particular but th there was a bunch of guys i traveled with that just you know decided not to and i think um i mean my focus was just different you know it was kind of more long term against you know um, the, the short term. Because I, was, I would think if you're going to try to play global golf and around the world, you're coming from about as far away as you can come. Yeah, exactly. You know, like um, a California kid who can you know, <laughs> play on all kinds of mini tours yeah. within an yeah. hour of his house. Well, I, I like traveling too. You know, I liked experiment, uh, uh, experiencing other countries. And, and I did that when I was young. I started traveling when I was 15 um, with New Zealand golf just all over the world, so played a lot of amateur golf. Um, so it was just kind of, you know, that's just what I wanted to do. Um, enjoyed it. I, I think that's half the battle, enjoying the lifestyle and enjoying the grind. So um, I, I enjoy that grind, and I think when that goes, that's kind of when I'll probably hang it up, you know, when that enjoyment of the grind goes. So. Who did you look up to when you were young that made you want to get into this game? Um, when I was playing amateur golf, um, you know, we had guys, obviously Bob Charles uh, was our big guy in New Zealand and Frank Nobolo was another one who was doing very well, Greg Turner, we had a bunch of those guys who, um, um, yeah, had a, had a pretty good impact on me, you know. Uh, Dad played as well, I mean my father, he's, he's passed now, but huge, huge impact on, on the game and just teaching me etiquette and all those small things that, you know, you need to learn as a youngster. So. Um, and I was lucky enough when I was younger to, to be around guys like Bob Charles, you know, before I turned pro. My coach was, uh, used to work at the golf course that Bob played at. Okay. And, and it, when, when Bob was home, from not playing the Champions Tour, he'd be, out, he'd be hitting balls every day. So I'd just hang out with Bob Charles, chipping and putting and, you know, hit some balls with him. We'd go and play a little bit maybe. So, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was cool. 
That has to be different. You're thinking about Bob Charles, and then he played on this tour eventually. Yeah. And now here you are doing yeah, the yeah. same thing. That's pretty good. Well, we've had some correspondence, and he's been great. He's given me some some help, just kind of getting back out here and and um, and just picking his brain. It's been fun. Yeah. So. I think. How many times have you tried to qualify for the PGA Tour? Uh, yeah, a few. Um, I've lost count of the tour schools. I can't remember. I mean. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I, I never got through a tour school, to be honest. I got through the Corn Ferry tour um, all three times, I think. So, yeah, um, just a lot of tour schools, yeah, a lot of grinding. Yeah, you mentioned you were age 48 to 50 on the Corn Ferry. Those are the only three years you played on it? No, no, I, I started playing back in 2002 was my first year. Oh, okay. Yep, right. so, and then I was, you know, back and forth, played some PGA, went to Europe, and then come back again, so, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of keep yourself grounded and now that you're out here playing with legends, Hall of Famers, that yeah. you're, you're their equal now. Yeah, it, it, it's tough. Um, you know, just up until a few weeks ago, I hadn't played with guys like Ernie Els and Vijay Singh, St Steve Stricker. Never played with the guys, never got a chance to play with them out in the, the, the main tour. So uh, the, the, I think I find the hardest thing is like trying not to watch them while I'm on the golf course playing in, in competition trying to stick in my game and do my stuff you know that's the hardest thing because i'm still trying to learn I, you know, I like <laughs> like watching and trying to learn things you know so i played i played nine holes with rocco mediate today i think i played with him once before but just watching him just play little shots around the green and shots he's hitting and i like i like watching guys yeah so it's pretty good. i'm sure he made you laugh a little bit oh yeah for sure yeah no he was he was at it for nine holes yeah yeah so yeah he's always giving me giving me heck so that's good fun all right, Steve. All right, guys. Thanks for your time and good okay. luck this week. Excellent. Thanks very much. Cheers.